I am, okay, hi everyone. Um, okay, I'm on my way right now, very exciting. I am going to the Bumble Hive here in LA on Melrose Place. I'm headed there now and I'm super excited. I'm gonna talk to some amazing women today about, and maybe some men, you never know, um, about how to find your personal style and how to build your confidence through style because I actually believe that you can do that and I've lived by that my entire life. Um, because I think that, you know, the better you feel on the outside, the better you feel on the inside and vice versa. Um, confidence really works both ways. So I'm going to talk about that today. And then, of course, leave ample time to shop and style amazing women today in my new spring collection. Just select pieces from my latest collection. Of course, I'm wearing one of them, the Jillian dress, one of my faves. Because it's, of course, sunny and beautiful here in L.A. Gorgeous, but kind of cold. So it's amazing. And um, I don't know, how's everybody else's day? I have Mary Elizabeth Johnson in here with me today. It me. <laughs> me again. You know, I roll deep. <laughs> Who? What sunglasses are you wearing, Rachel? Though? Oh, I'm wearing um, my new favorite sunnies from my latest spring box of style, um, and they happen to be perfectly color coordinated with the rest of my outfit. But I do wear them with black, with denim, with white, and everything in between. Um, and of course, we're going back roads to avoid the never-ending gridlock of Santa Monica Boulevard. Um, which has made everyone's commute anywhere they're going in West Hollywood really awesome. Um, so how's everyone else's day? Tell me what's going on with you guys. Tell me everything. Hello? Hello? Anyone? Questions? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You can show them the gridlock if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Would show you like to see the gridlock? If you're not currently in L.A., you can see what it's like. <laughs> yeah. If you do not live in L.A., I want to give you my experience um, and everyone who lives here experience. And I don't even typically travel on normal commuting traffic hours. But I have to say at, you know, almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon, of course, there is traffic. Yay. Yay. Um, okay. So anyway, I am all... Oh. Hmm. Hold on a minute, a everybody. Call? Yes. Hold on. I'm getting a call. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Someone's trying. You guys, I'm not great at this live thing yet. Someone's trying to join my call. Hold on for a second, please. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. My God, there's so many amazing people on my live with me right now. Yay. Let's see. Let's see. Anyone want to tell me how their day is? Ooh, hi from Moscow. What's it like in Moscow right now? I have a really good friend in Moscow, and I think it's snowing. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I can't see who's trying to join my call, everybody. You guys have to help me. Okay. I'm still new at the at the live thing. Hold on one is second. There a request? No. Hold on. If you scroll. Hold on. I'm still scrolling, guys, because people are trying to join my call. Go to the top. What do you guys want to tell me? Oh, you like my sunglasses. Thank you. Oh, you like my dress. Thank you. Get this out. Someone's trying to join my call. Let's see if we can get this amazing person. Ooh. Let's see. Yes. Hi, lady. Oh, look at there. Hi. Wait, I can't hear you. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on a second, honey. God, this is a disaster. Hold on. I mean, Aaron, I'm so not tech savvy and I'm trying. You look so pretty. Is your morning Hi, Gorge. What's happening? Okay. Um, are you on your way? You look so pretty. You're a style icon. Like, what's happening? I'll see you in two minutes. Are you late? I'm late. Can't hear you, but I love you. Thank 
Vancouver and are glamorous, and Erin, while you obviously also can hit a red carpet in style, you are typically a little bit more of a casual dresser, so yes, I was supposed to wear a dress today and I panicked, and I was like, I cannot walk out of the house wearing a dress at 1pm, I just feel like it's very nighttime, I don't know how to be dressy in the day, this fur is like a whole new world to me. I know, but you look so incredible, like I'm actually living for the whole thing. It's more than 15 years, I figured out. Since I was like five, 100%, and that makes me like nine. (laughs) So that's when we met. And, um, you know, the best thing about Erin and her sister Sarah is that they are exactly who they are all the time. And it's my favorite thing about them. And I think, you know, people say, oh my God, don't look at what I'm wearing, don't look at what I'm wearing. And I actually want to look at what you're wearing because I love how everybody interprets personal style um, for themselves. And I think to Erin's point, it's like, I would say you should be your best self. You should be your most glamorous self. Your most glamorous self might be your favorite jeans and a huge top and a great pair of boots or like flats or whatever. That could be your most glamorous self. And that's how you feel your best. Glamorous should not be associated with like gold, sequins, ball gowns and things like that. It should always be, and I think Erin and Sarah, for me, have always been style icons in the, the non-traditional sense of style icon, in the sense of like, they are always themselves. And when you go see them on a Sunday morning at brunch, they are in their like California cool, this is what I threw on, this is true me, I didn't put effort into this, but I still look really awesome. You know, and I think they really represent model off duty in its original form. Like I always think you look, I love that. You always look your like most natural, gorgeous selves in like a t-shirt, a really worn in t-shirt and a great pair of jeans and whatever sneakers Karen might have on. <laughs> Just saying. Rachel's not a massive fan of sneakers, so that's a very big compliment. By the way, I thought Rachel would put on a um, little headed sweatshirt for the first time I think in her life. And I have a picture of it. I'd love for it to surface somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but she was making me wear some outfits for this photo shoot that we did. Yeah. And I was like, I will give her so much money if you'll put this on a sweatshirt. She's yeah. like, I'll, I'll see what that's like. I'll, I'll try it. She didn't know really like, where to, how to get it on. She put it on. She made it look like a 12 year old boy wearing like a little hood. Like a little skater kid. It was, I was really into it. I felt really good in that moment. <laughs> I did. It was comfortable. It was comfortable, but it was out of body. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so. Um, if you're a shopper with a limited budget, as so many of us are, what are a couple of the key investment pieces that you recommend women look for this spring? Erin? I'm great at discount shopping. Oh, and I, I always, I love um, being around my fashion friends that are like snobby about brands. And they're like, oh, is that the new Isabel Moran? I'm like, no, babe, it's the new Zara. And <laughs> you couldn't tell the difference. Um, I think Zara makes really great pieces. I think um, Topshop makes really great pieces. I think... Um, uh, um, I'm a huge fan of Aritzia makes really great stuff I think that it's actually a really great time right now to be shopping as someone who doesn't want to spend thousands of dollars on your outfit because those brands have really stepped it up and they make quality quality stuff and so I think if you pair like if, oh, what I'm learning is if you get um, like a credit to a store or like a gift certificate somewhere as a gift and let's say it's six hundred dollars or something like that. You don't. My instinct is I want to buy like eight pairs of jeans. And what you should be doing, and my instinct is so different. Yeah, like you get the one thing. Like I had a gift certificate um, to Barney's for something that had been, things that had been re- returned, and I had like it was a lot for me. It was twelve hundred dollars or something, and I was like, shit, I could buy a lot of stuff with twelve hundred dollars. And then I saw this this Stella McCartney camel coat, and I was like, you know what? I don't have a nice coat for winter that you can just put with boots and jeans. And I've been wearing it for three years now, and it's so nice and it's so beautiful. And I just bought the one thing, and I'm so glad I invested. And in, like, if you get a nice coat, if you have a nice pair of black boots that you can wear at night, um, I think those things are really important to spend money on. And then you fill everything else in with like affordable stuff. Totally agree. I totally agree. I think splurge on the classics that you know you're going to wear past this, this season that you can layer, you know, up like you can layer heavy things or layer things like a sundress and throw in your favorite jacket and just like know that you're going to wear it forever and ever. And my investment pieces, I mean, I've worn for 10 years. I mean,